guys, what's up? The new update's here finally, and we have two new cookies, Sherbert and Carol Cookie. And in today's video, what we're going to be doing is talking about uh, basically first impressions. I have not pulled either of the cookies, but we do have the scalings now of the cookies, like the actual percentages of what they do and the full skills out now. So we're going to be taking a look at those skills, and I'm going to be talking about my thoughts and opinions on if these cookies are going to be good, bad, or or in between, or, or whatever they might be. So guys, this is not the full Should You Summon video. This is just my first impression. Like I said guys, we'll be doing a full should you summon video in the next day or two here You should see that out once I can actually pull Carol cookie and pull stripper cookie Which we'll be doing today on stream. We'll be doing pulls for both at 2 p.m. CST uh, Which will be probably like two hours after this video is published to YouTube So yeah guys come check out the stream. It might be cool We'll be doing big massive summons and testing with the new cookies so as you guys know already Carol's an epic rear healing unit uh, Which yeah heals your team and can also attack but let's jump into the skill now. So guys, both of these cookies actually have massive skills, like as far as like reading out goes. So we'll just talk about what the skill does. So guys, Carol Cookie is gonna heal, give crit percentage and crit to your whole team. Now, when there are only two cookies left, including Carol Cookie, uh, her ability changes. She'll start damaging the enemies. She'll start to give less cooldown for your team. So that means they have less cooldown to launch their abilities. More healing because the healing is dispersed more evenly. So they get more healing the lower the amount of cookies you have. And also, uh, they start damaging enemies as well. So guys, taking a look here at the actual scalings. Healing is going to be 82% of attack at level 1. Crit percent is going to be 15% for 15 seconds and stacks one time. Crit is going to be 12% for 15 seconds and stacks one time. Song of change damage is 180%. And ally cooldown is minus 2.5%. Now guys, I'm going to be completely honest with you. Carol looks kind of mid. Judging from this so far, the healing honestly does not look that much because it scales off of attack and the healing cookies don't have that high of a base attack skill. So it's going to be kind of hard to actually get that healing off uh, with that how, how the healing set up on this cookie. I think right now that Cream Unicorn in terms of healing is probably going to be better. But like I said, we're going to have to wait and see. Uh, especially, I think this cookie is going to be meant for low... Uh, cookie situations not very much so high cookie situations or I guess I should say like team comps with a bunch of cookies This is meant for like the final minute of the match to heal up a lot more uh, When you get the attack buff and stuff like that So maybe she'll do massive amounts of healing then but we'll have to wait and see for when I get this cookie level up Also guys the crit percentage and crit actually looks really low I feel like uh, this is kind of a wasted cookie slot just to get this crit and crit percentage Because you could just run like a crit scythe and get double the crit percentage for, for for the cheap i mean you know i will say though the cooldown does seem nice the cooldown does seem nice minus 2.5 second cooldown versus it being a percentage wise cooldown is pretty nice because this means everyone's gonna get the same amount um the percent wise thing could help higher cooldown cookies but the teams you're probably gonna run this on probably have a lower cooldown anyways so yeah overall guys the cookie seems mid the cooldown for allies does seem nice crit and crit percentage just seems kind of bad also healing doesn't seem too too good either on top of that uh just the damage overall she does as well the song of chance does not seem very high uh, we'll have to wait and see once I summon her today and get some testing done. But as of right now, uh, I'm not thinking this is a must summon cookie, but we'll have to wait and see. So let's talk about that boy we've been waiting for, the super epic range middle line cookie Sherbert. This boy looks drippy as hell. Let's just go ahead and get that out the way. He looks absolutely drippy. But we're not here for that. Let's go ahead and talk about the man skill here. So what he's going to do is he's going to summon 15 frost shards and divide that amongst the team. Targeting from highest attack to lowest attacker with each hit of these shards is going to inflict a frost debuff upon the enemy And also it's gonna nullify damage resist per uh, per stack as well So with each target hit with one of these uh, frost shards, they're gonna be receiving a frost debuff on top of that They're gonna be receiving debuff the debuff removal the debuff resist removal of uh, whatever uh, so yeah, that's gonna be huge as well. He also has a chance to freeze the enemy, which is kind of nice. And finally, he's gonna convert HP, win at max HP, into HP shield. Honestly, my boy Sherbert looks kind of cracked, but let's go ahead and hop into the scalings and everything like that. So, frost shards are gonna do 39.3% per shard, and he's going to do additional damage of 49.2 when the enemies have a frost debuff on them. And, and then he's gonna be doing 15% extra damage to other cookies that are like summons and stuff like that so guys the frost debuff this is gonna drop the attack speed of the enemy by five percent 
and this is going to increase the damage of freezing by 50% up to 350% for 16 seconds. Now, keep in mind, he is going to hit 15 charge, which targets all cookies. So that means every cookie gets at least three stacks per use of the ability. So that means 150% per rotation. This lasts for 16 seconds. So yeah, it's pretty big. And then the low, of course, the lower amount of enemies you have, the higher the stat goes. Nullify debuff resist. Nullifies 30% of debuff resist for 16 seconds. Stacks up to one time. 30% debuff uh, removal is really nice. Uh, that's that's pretty huge, actually. Uh, that means uh, teams that rely on, like, Caramel Arrow and such is, is going to be absolutely huge. Anything that relies on debuffs to get their damage out, this is going to be absolutely huge for. He's going to have an 8% chance to freeze the enemy, and these chances are increased by 2% per stack of Frost. That means in the end game, in the final, like, minute of the match, when when the cookies are down bad, this is gonna absolutely stack like a like a it's gonna stack huge. This is gonna be a huge stack. This is gonna be a huge stack because it's just gonna keep making the enemies get frozen because this chance is just gonna keep going up because of how how the how the frost debuff actually works of this staying on the enemy and you can stack it just so much with him freezing damage is gonna be 42.2 percent of attack but keep in mind guys this can go up to three an extra 350 percent because of how the skill works of the frost debuff he's getting frost resistance which gives him negative 50 percent to freezing damage and duration and here we go guys the warm light of life 55 percent of healing exceeds max hp is converted to hp shield this is capped at 30 percent that's huge that is huge. Overheal is huge. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get into my thoughts now on this cookie. This cookie is a very high damaging cookie because he does frost shard damage and he does additional damage uh, for the for the having a frost debuff on the enemy. I think this cookie is very, very PvP focused and I think a frost comp is going to be in order with run, running a lot of cookies like maybe Snow Sugar if they get candy and Frost Queen to f add frost. This is not going to be a very first burst heavy cookie unless you can get Frost Queen on a team to to hit first and imply frost debuff on the enemy first and then maybe he'll start bursting off and popping off with the extra damage you need to i'm thinking that's like the the kill scenario there is hit frost queen and then have him go after but with having a 13 second cooldown is so low that it's going to be very hard to actually make him go second in a rotation with frost queen with having a really high cooldown he can stack the absolute shit out of this freezing debuff um, this is going to help Frost Queen do massive amounts of damage to the enemies. And this is because they added the Frost debuff to Frost Queen 2, absolutely increasing her damage. I think her damage is also an extra 350% now, which is absolutely huge. So just stack up with Sherbert, kill with Frost Queen. I think, I think, I think we're going to see Freezing Comp back on the meta, but we'll have to wait to see if that happens, actually. Taking away 30% debuff resist from the enemies and also the HP shield is really huge. I think this is overall just a great PvP cookie. Uh, uh, but like I said, guys, we're going to have to wait and see and test. We're going to do that testing today to see how good he actually is in Arena. If I can actually pull him today, that is. Uh. But yeah, guys, hopping into my final thoughts now. I think Carol Cookie is kind of mid. I think Server Cookie is popping for PvP. I don't know how he is for PvE. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, like I said, guys, at the beginning of the video... Um, we're gonna be doing a stream today doing summons and testings live at 2 p.m. CST on twitch.tv forward slash you two can't see me Also guys, please leave your thoughts and on these both of these cookies If you think Carol cookies good if you think sherbert cookies good or bad if you think the frost cons coming back to the meta Anyways guys, I will see you guys in the next one and also be on the lookout for that should you summon video Anyways guys later. Bye. -bye.